Welcome to this series of tutorials on using the Acrobat 3D Toolkit, which ships and installs with Adobe Acrobat 3D. You can use the Acrobat 3D Toolkit to add materials, create animations such as exploded views, edit lighting, and save these files as a 3D object or 2D raster vector image. This tutorial, the final one in a series of three, focuses on keyframe animation. To demonstrate how keyframes work, I'll animate a disassembly procedure by creating a variety of animations for this assembly. To begin, I'll review the model to get an idea of how the disassembly will proceed. Of course, there may be existing instructions already created for the procedure. For this model, the top bolts come out of the main casing, allowing access to the gears within the transmission housing. The scene tree lists the names of these bolts. To quickly find and select all of the bolts, I'll use the scene tree to select objects by name. By clicking on the Select Object icon and typing the name, all objects with the same name are selected and highlighted. Now I'm ready to animate those bolts using the keyframe animation tools. In this animation, I need to move the bolts vertically away from the assembly. To do that, I first turn on the Edit Keyframes icon. At the bottom of the Acrobat 3D Toolkit window, a timeline controller displays with a red outline, verifying that we're in the record mode. Now, any changes I make to the position of objects will set keyframes. Before I begin, I right-click on the arrow and go to the Animation Timeline Options. Instead of viewing the animation as frames, I'll change the time display to seconds and then set the animation to end at 3 seconds. The timeline display changes to show that I am at time 0 of a 3 second long animation. I'll move the timeline controller to time 1, which is 1 second. Now I select the Move tool and grab the Z-axis, which is the blue handle on the selected objects. Then, I move the bolts straight up along the Z-axis away from the assembly. To view the animation, I stop record mode by turning off the Edit Keyframes icon. Then, I can click the Play button or move the Timeline Controller to see the bolts animate away from the main assembly in the Z-axis. Next, I'll move the Timeline Controller to 2 seconds and select the top plate. At 2 seconds, I want to move this object up just below the bolts. I turn on the Edit Keyframes icon to start the record mode and grab the Z-axis of the handle. Notice that the Z-axis turns yellow. Then, I move the object up. Again, I'll view the animation by turning off the Edit Keyframes icon and moving the Timeline Controller back and forth. Notice that the particular selected object, the flywheel, animates from time 0 to time 2. I'd like to change the animation of the flywheel to start at time 1 of the 3 second animation instead. To do that, I move the Timeline Controller to time 1. Then, I right-click in the menu area and turn on the Animation Timeline Display. Notice that there is a keyframe positioned at time 0. I select this keyframe and move it to the highlighted time 1. Now, when I play the animation, the flywheel does not start to move until the timeline gets to time 1. This is how you create and edit keyframes within the Acrobat 3D Toolkit. You can also edit keyframes with the Timeline Controller selected. Right-click on a keyframe and open Key Properties. This dialog provides very precise control over the XYZ coordinates of the object position, rotation and scale, as well as the time that is set for a particular keyframe. Now I'll show you how to create an exploded animation. First, right-click on the menu toolbar to verify that the CAD Tools toolbar set is available through the UI. 
press F12 to change the active viewport to a single viewport. The CAD tool set includes the Explode Objects icon and to the right of it, the Explode Objects settings. I'll verify that All Directions is selected and create an animation lasting three seconds and in three stages. With nothing selected in the viewport, I click the Explode Objects icon. Notice at the bottom of the screen that the Animation Timeline Controller is now visible. It shows that the animation is 3 seconds at 30 frames per second, or 90 frames total. Now, I'll move the controller to 1 second, which consists of 30 frames. I'd like this plate to be at the top of the exploded animation. To make a change or augment the current animation, I turn on the Edit Keyframes icon. Then I select the objects I want to move and use the Move tool to move the objects to the end position at the one second point of the animation. To play back the animation with the change, I turn off the Edit Keyframe icon. Exploded animations are very easy to create and change and are a simple way of illustrating assembly behavior using the Acrobat 3D Toolkit.